Hey, how you guys doing out there? It's me, Elric, back here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Why am I here today? Well, check it out. You guys know that most of the time when we bring you video card reviews, they're always usually pretty expensive, usually in $200 or more, all the way up to, well, you've seen them, the $1,000 690, so shit gets expensive. Now, this little thing is from NVIDIA. This is the GT640, and it comes into market for the basic package at $99. This one's probably going to be about $109 because it comes overclocked with its you know, it's got a little bit different cooling solution on it as well. So this product's also from Galaxy. They're one of the latest companies we're dealing with. So let's take a look and let's see what this new GT640 has to offer you folks at the end of the day. All right, folks, so now let's take a look at the card. As far as the aesthetics of the card go, you can see it's pretty simple. There's no power connectors on it. It's got a single shroud, a single fan. Now, as far as the card size, it comes in at 5.7 inches by 3.47 inches by 1.18 inches. It actually weighs 0.57 pounds, so it weighs under a pound. The memory interface is a 128-bit memory interface, and it takes 350 watts as the required power for the card. Now, as far as the internal mechanisms to make the card run, this card has 384 CUDA cores, has one gigabyte of GDDR3 memory, comes with a 950 megahertz core clock, 900 megahertz the reference. The GT640 has a memory clock of 891 megahertz, which translates to 1782 megahertz effective. Now let's take a look at the rear I.O. This one's very simple. It features a standard DVI, a standard VGA, and a standard HDMI connection. The key features of this card is it supports NVIDIA's surround technology, has Blu-ray 3D support, True HD and DTS HD audio support, DirectX 11, all supports all of the new NVIDIA PhysX, FXAA, and adaptive V-Sync technology. Supports OpenGL 4.2 and obviously PCI Express 3.0. Galaxy also includes on their driver CD their Extreme Tuner Plus. This allows you to go in, overclock the card, monitor the card, all the good things you need to do for overclocking or just checking how well your card is running. With that said, let's now jump in and rock out to the benchmark song and see how this card does. You're back, all right. So you guys have seen it. Now, let's just stop right here. This card really is about 109 bucks. So let's just think about that right off the bat. $109 for a video card. That's very, very entry level and it actually does play games pretty decent. Now, if you have a monitor that's actually a smaller one that uses like 1280 by 760 resolution or any of the smaller resolutions other than 1920 by 1080, this card really would kick ass. In our test, we stress the out of video cards. I run everything at its most ultra max and you can see that this little card actually still performed pretty well even under our strenuous test. It runs very cool, requires absolutely no power whatsoever except for through your PCIe slot, which is really damn good. So taking that all in mind, I gotta say that this new Galaxy GT640 wins a serious top value award here on motherboards.org. It's $109. It plays games really well, requires zero power other than the PCIe, and runs very, very cool. Good job. I think a lot of people are going to be buying this card who like the NVIDIA product. I'll see you guys later.